Uh, who wants to recap us? Garrett. Garrett, go <laughs> ahead and re go ahead and recap. Just I us, did Garrett. the thing. Okay. Yeah. Did what thing? Oh, you don't remember? No. So, uh, we started last time. Uh, oh wait, yeah, no, you were with us. I don't know why I thought it was only me and Dom. Okay, continue. <laughs> so we started at that ritual circle of blood where we mm -hmm. found Dorn. Uh, we pulled him out. He was just mangled and beat up. This was the last session, though, right? This was last. This was, well, this, this no, you guys two found him two sessions ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He okay, was cool. missing, like, just making sure a portion like, of his torso. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well. We tried to figure out who did it to him. He All he said was her. And so on the way back to the ship, I tried to sense who her was and was pulled into this weird spatial pathway place where I then met her. Some weird shit happened. Uh, very... Was she wearing phones? Uh, Jacob? Yep. As far Rocking as you can tell, sign. as far as you can she... perceive... Uh, she said Dorn's time was up and that uh, something like I would uh, pathways that like I had something a part to play in it or something after he was gone uh, left that weird spot and then Dorn proceeded to uh, turn to dust um, oh. in front of our eyes. Um, Not so much turned to dust. I mean, he did become dust, but uh, he very much had, uh, like, sort of the mentor style. Uh, yeah, his, his essence. Life essence life. sucked out of him from yeah. no apparent pathway. Another important thing um, is that whenever they Dorn was brought back, obviously he's quite disheveled, seeing as how he's missing over a quarter of the top half of his body. Um, yeah. And calls... Raz, uh, Daklin for the entire time that they talk. And then, uh, that's when Knox ha had ended up, uh, what do you call it, trying to talk to, what was it, her? Yeah, her will. And then, and then when he, yeah, her will, and then whenever he did that, Doran was, uh, was all like, oh, you, you made a, you made a pathway to her, and I helped, what have I done, like, type yeah. shit. Yeah, so then, yeah, uh, sure. we got a hyperdrive working although it was a pretty slow one made our way back to the outer rim if i remember mm -hmm. and then proceeded to have a bit of a bender at a yeah. uh, cantina <laughs> <laughs> had a great night that was fun yeah we <laughs> also talked to uh the holocron a little bit as well mm -hmm. uh, before mm -hmm. we got drunk um Daclan sounded ominous as fuck Daclan sounded ominous so did as june fuck. Joom sounded ominous as fuck as well for the one sentence that I, I gave you last week. <laughs> yeah. uh, mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Uh, I don't remember what I said for you, but... <laughs> Wait a minute. How did we go to the outer rim? Uh, Eddie found a uh, part at the bottom of the thing we were on. It was capable of hyperspace. But I thought, we, like, doom, I thought we doom spiraled. No, 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 no. We shot over to the uh, that new space... Uh, not new. That's that old space old. station. And yeah, but what we happened when we went to, to the weird space? No, no, no. You're thinking of when we tried to hyper jump in dark space, which is how we got away and all fucked up yeah. out here. Wouldn't no. let us to okay. be found yeah, the okay. station through that. Mm -hmm. Through the weird twisting, tumbling, trusting yeah. the force. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Eddie was yeah. able to hook us up, and then he mentioned that he was bringing Panlix to a place where people okay. like us collect kids like him mm -hmm. okay. and that he would be kind of getting in touch with us okay okay uh, letting us know where they were okay and then uh when we were talking to daklin and the holocron i had brought up the um the cult of people on shandrilla that were waiting for me and asked if we should go there and stop them or just never go there and he said it would be better to uh to stop them rather than let them uh, fester. I think he made like some kind of analogy with a okay. uh, like a disease kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. So that I believe was where we were planning on going first. But okay. after uh, we after, were you know, still debating on where to go. Yeah. Okay. And of um, course, Timjin got extremely drunk. Woke up in somebody's. You apartment. have to. 
You have and <laughs> ate all of their no uh, way. pieces of all of their pizza. <laughs> no way. And then slinked out. Yeah. <laughs> You're heinous. He can't even fix himself a cup. Drink that shit out the bottle, too. Yes, sir. Probably backwashed in it, too. It's like <laughs> right, uh, I'd be so pissed. Like... Bro, well, you got to lose some morality for that. <laughs> Bro, remember when. Big Jim and his brother would come over and like he would just help him help themselves to our pizza. Yeah, just and eat, like eat dude, our he walked Saturday over, lunch. walked over with his hands not washed and not just grabbing a slice and eating it, but taking it, tearing it in half and putting the other half. It's like just take the fucking slice, like <laughs> so nasty. Now I just got to throw the other half away, like yeah, oh, good times. Yeah. Good bless, times. Uncle Mike's, bless Uncle Mike's heart. May he rest in peace. Also, wait, <laughs> Uncle Mike was the one that almost killed me and Chase uh, in the in the yeah. truck as well. Good times. Yeah. Good, yeah, good times. Good, <laughs> good times, bro. Good mm-hmm. fucking times. Oh. Yeah, did y'all go help clean his house? Uh, that wasn't. I managed to dodge that one actually. Thank uh, God. That was that was, was Mikey. Nasty. That was Mikey and Chris. Oh, but we so went with him to somewhere. I don't remember. I don't remember where or why. Um, Nerd. But yes. <laughs> oh, the game's on. Who that? <clears throat> All right. I'm here, boys. I love it. I am looking for one final piece here. And we are rocking and rolling. (laughs) Hmm. What I really need to know. About this is uh For some reason, it's showing that I, it's showing that I don't have any weapons on the, uh, the table. We should probably get some weapons. Did you, uh, did you click yourself? (laughs) I think Will got a weapon or two on him. (laughs) <laughs> oh, I think huh. Garrett's got a weapon. I think Garrett's got a weapon or two on him. Yeah, I think After Garrett what we saw him do to Mr. Mandalorian. <laughs> um, I don't know. Check your okay. um. Check your it says I have him in my like. Well, I think like, Will is a weapon. If I hit edit, Boys. then the weapons show up. But then I hit save and they're gone. Oh. Very strange. Also, can I heal my strain? Um, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> You don't get the healer oh, stream after a bender. You sure you don't okay. want no cookies? I lie. You can heal your strain, of course. Okay. Uh, where is my... Wait, no way my buddy's getting 1k views on his stuff on YouTube now. Nice. That's awesome. Oh, oh. hey, my my fellow RuneScape players, have you all done a... Uh... That's me. Guardians, of, oh, just you? Damn, that's right, Chris isn't here yet. Yo, have you played Guardians of the Rift yet? Guardians of the Rift? Yeah. No, I don't know if that is. It's the runecrafting minigame. You mean OSRS? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know they made one. Yeah, dude. Yeah, like, I remember them uh, polling it forever. Oh, I think I've but... seen people doing it on TikTok, maybe. Yeah, I just didn't it's realize almost like they dungeoneering? ever released it. No, it's, it's weird. So, like... You have to mine a bunch of essence at the very beginning of the match, and then you take that essence to a crafting table to turn it into actual usable essence. And then uh, you take some cells with you into uh, the portals, um, yeah. and and uh, only two portals unlock uh, at a time. 
and you yeah. can go in there and craft your runes. You come back out, uh, and if there's any, uh, if you have to spawn any Rift Guardians, you take your fi your filled cell to do that, and you just rinse and repeat until the game's over. You get um, XP? Yeah, do you get hella like uh, what was it? it like right now because I don't have the Death Rune Altar unlocked because I haven't done Mornings in Part Two. I'm do I'm getting like 35k XP an hour, which is huge in comparison to what I was getting before, just doing regular rune crafting. Huh? All right, okay, let's do this. Let's roll our force die <clears throat> and rock and roll, shall we? Damn, I'm always giving the dark side points. <laughs> I'll fuck with him. Damn, dog! Woo! Shooters, <laughs> shooters, shooters do in fact shoot. Eesh. Hold on, you telling me roll? Oh, um, how do I roll it? Mm. I don't know what to do. Whatever do you mean? I I hit I hit my dice. Do you have your how do I how do I roll it? Selected? I do. Does it have the roll oh, dice button? It just I needed to reload it. It didn't have the roll dice button. Hey! Damn! Holy moly! Sniper. Damn. <clears throat> well, we're gonna be flipping the things this game. No important decisions to be made this session. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. So as a um, we have a decision to make. So I'll show you guys, catch Joom up on everything that happened. Um, and we have a decision to make as a group. Um, <laughs> another important thing that uh, Holocron, the gate gatekeeper Daklin mentioned, was that Perhaps these things have been cyclical. Perhaps what's happening now is happening to you all because of not only his failure, but his master's failure. His master, Amal, um, mm -hmm. and Ethorian. He kind of gave the short and dirty story of Amal and mentioned that perhaps more answers about the gates the uh your gates or the stride gates that we uh have, they've both been called so far mm -hmm. um that you translated june will mm -hmm. perhaps have more information to be found on maybe their progenitor's home planet uh so he did Which mention ethor, that right? ethor yes okay so, without a check, uh, Joom, you would know, the surface of Ethor is uh, sanctified by Athorians, and yes. it is nigh impossible to get onto the surface as a non-native. <coughs> as a, Yes, as a non-Athorian, but even so, more past that, as wow. a non-Athorian with no connection to their uh, like belief system. Mm-hmm. So, with that in mind, Declan did mention a little bit of that as well and said that perhaps you should handle a few things before diving into that particular challenge. One of those challenges obviously being the sort of uh, cult activity that you guys, that uh, Nox has been aware of mm -hmm. on Chandrilla and the Crystal Caverns on Chandrilla. But not only that, uh, we didn't really talk about it, but um, things are, we haven't checked in, but things are probably still hot on Corellia, and we also always could go look for more answers at the... Um, at the Anora Estate on Arcanus. <laughs> Yo, we ever got paid by that uh dropping off that package nope. in Corellia? From uh Weesh. Who got that boy phone number? 
I have in my notes, still expecting payment. <laughs> <laughs> I got his phone number. Oh, Weesh Kinu, coming up yeah, short on a payment. Huh? Is that what you guys were telling me? <laughs> Maybe we should wait till we're assist. Is that what you guys are telling me? Certainly, old <laughs> Weesh isn't short on a payment. Hold on. Uh, real quick though, uh, do you add brawn to the damage of lightsabers or no? No, no. Okay. Da the lightsaber damage is based on your crystal. Ah. Does anybody remember what payment, what amount of payment we were waiting on? No, he just said he'd pay us. Just said he'd pay you guys. It was something like thirty thousand credits. Oh yeah, it's just yeah, some, yeah, just like some that. light, just a little. <laughs> Light thirty five. Because that's, that's why we spent the twenty k like like it was easy because <laughs> we knew we would had thirty k coming. Right, right. This exactly. is what it was. That's why exactly. we did that. Because like, right, we knew right, like right. we knew we needed at least twenty k for Will's mom's medicine. That's and right. We never would have right, spent, right. spent it if we knew that. Right. We so never would have spent the fifteen k at yeah. the casino considering yeah. we knew that we Will's mom coming. needed exactly fifteen k mm -hmm. for or Tim's mom needed fifteen k for the medicine. I was about to say, who the fuck is Will? Uh, right. Exactly. So. We, I leave the decision up to you guys. If you guys have any questions about anything, this is also a great time. Uh, I'll say you guys are still in the like refueling process um, on board the little asteroid um, convent, little asteroid city that you guys parked at and went and drinking at and things like that. Little way station, mm -hmm. right? What um, did June do while we were out? Yeah, what do you think June was doing for the for the night of? Meditating. Bar with us. Mm, I probably went out with him. Mm. Just Ooh. laying low. Ooh. Laying low, having a good night. Yeah. Do you think June would Were have you imbibed himself with liquor? Yeah, probably. Uh, okay, let's go back. Uh, here we go. Here, here's the <laughs> June. Hold on now. <laughs> hold, on, hold on. Hold on. June, from session one at the bar. Did not imbibe alcohol, this so probably not. But he would have gone. So June got smart then, and well. <laughs> he got back to the ship before things got hairy. Well. <laughs> probably as soon as Tim Jin climbed on the table, he was like, "You know, yeah. <laughs> oh, all right, time, time, to time to go, time, 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 <laughs> time, time, time to go." Especially when he would have left. Time to get the fuck out of here. Yep. Oh, okay, cool. Well. Excellent assessment there from. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that's exactly when he would have left. <laughs> All right, well, if you guys want to make some calls or just um, either in character and ask questions about stuff or ask me questions about our potential paths, uh, we can go ahead and do that. Uh, no, if you have any further questions about stuff, uh, we're pretty much caught up. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not caught up on one thing because I keep forgetting for some reason. Okay. We, we, we did that whole, well, we were doing that whole job where we were going to get, like, that mobster chick or whatever. What had gone wrong and made us have to leave that area, like, all quick-like and got us into that, all that bullshit? The, the commissioner came, right? Who's the commissioner? Uh, not the commissioner, the, you uh, know, the sovereign guy. of the order. <laughs> yes, the grand, the grand inquisitor. Uh, no, not, not the, the inquisitor. Sovereign, the sovereign. Uh, but, um, That's his title. The, what's the, the sovereign of the order, yes. Um, he literally Ron showed Cole. up with his yes. fire-ass ship and his weasel that absorbs force energy. Oh, All yes. Right. He, yeah, that did happen. Okay. All right. With the easel I don't know how I missed that shit. Yeah. And we also found the kid. Panlix. And yes. We're like, Panlix we're is the big yeah. reason that Ed decided to them. rope yeah, you guys. We literally into robbed all them. Of it. You guys robbed them, yes. You guys yes, stole we their the child auction. slave and skedaddled. We said we'd pay for it, and he had like a fake wire, and uh, the wire was going to go bad. They just had to get out of there before it did, and uh, we almost got out before it did. We did get out, though. We did get out before it did. We just decided to try and get out with a mass shadow in place. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. And you know, yeah, you every see, now I, thought and the, then. I thought that the two people that were with us were the uh, what was it? Those guys we had found on that space station, those pirate dudes. Oh, the wolf guys. Yeah, I thought oh. I thought that's who was with us. Oh, oh no, Will. Very, no, he did go wrong. with us. He did, yeah, but yeah. We left him on the ship, and we never got the ship back. We got to somebody else's ship, right? Correct. Big Cheese, I forget, or whatever <laughs> his whatever his name was. My <coughs> my deep woods Tennessee mechanic, yeah. uh, Shistaman. Um, Yes. Uh, I do want to say, uh, Weesh, the job he had us do was on Corellia. 
that it like was. we had done like right before we leave. So if we talk to him, he probably knows better than us what uh, hey, I mean, if we can if we can two get for to one. Him. Yeah. I, I hey, by like... the way, we're back in system. Yeah. And, uh, by the way, we're back on the map. You wanted to hear about Corellia and my fucking money. <laughs> nice phones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Be I'm a neat dad. I think that Probably. that's a. I think that that's a fine direction to go. Yeah. You know what Mandalorian means? <laughs> yeah. Never heard of him. Never, never heard of him. But yeah. So you guys want to call up Weesh? Is that the that the that the play? I think it yeah. is the play. Just dial him up. Ask him how Corelli has been. Not too well, boop, I assume. Boop, boop, Probably boop, not. Boop, boop. I assume you guys take the call on your hollow table so everybody can see. Um, yes. Yeah. That would be the wise thing to do. I'm going to be uh, I'm gonna be taking apart and cleaning my gun in the background. Weesh. <laughs> the blue-white hologram of Weesh Kinu himself pops up. Um, seems to be, uh, laid in bed, sort of no relaxing, way. just the, the under, the under blouse on, uh, medallion hanging around his neck, um, just sort of a laid back, wipe, wipes his eyes a few times, uh, my friends, oh, yes, uh, <clears throat> good, good morning, what can Wishkinu do for you, Yes, we we have a couple of questions. Um, how's Corellia been since we've been gone? Oh, Corellia. Ah, oh, well, um, about Is as well as or? a planet that's been bombarded from orbit and had their civili civilization centers and justice system as well as their judicial system destroyed poorly. I see. Um, Things have not been good. No, the um, <laughs> really fighting has been rather. So has rather the loss of life scale. slowed? Hard to tell. They haven't been have any... uh, bombarding the planet anymore. So let's see. Uh, do you have any contact still on Corellia? Oh, well, most of my contacts have gotten wise and decided to pursue more lucrative and less dangerous assignments elsewhere in the galaxy. Understandably so. And, and speaking of lucrative and dangerous assignments, uh, the payment for the one that we, we made for you. Uh, I assume oh, the wire transfer has been caught up somewhere in the... Um... You know, it must Corellia, have, Corellia yes, it, it's, yeah, um, it must have, it must have, um, you know, these things. Um, naturally. In, naturally, in I, of course, am still in the Corellian system. Um, yes. So, I believe the Galactic Order probably has stopped any reasonably large amounts of sums from traveling in and out of the Net. Of course, and large in the amount of... Thir 30,000? 30, 30, 30, 30,000, my friend. Uh, what we agreed on. 30,000 is, 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 is rather steep. Um, it, was, it was, um, it was... It was closer uh, to, to, uh, to, to 15, if I, if I remember Oh, correctly. 15, yes, that's, sorry, this is my apologies. No problem. Um, it's apparently is still in my bank account. Uh, if you all are willing to make the trip, I'd be happy to physically deposit it for you. Naturally. Um, we actually have business in the Corellian system anyway. It, it's kismet. I see, I see. Well, um... Don't send me your location here uh, through the anything. Just, we'll meet in the bar we last met. Ooh, are you talking on, um... Ooh, where, ooh, where was it? I forget which planet it was on. It was the same planet that we tracked down. Uh, Will had his meeting. Uh, it was the first time he got his... No, sorry, Will. Garrett got his ass kicked. Ah, uh, Taurus Terminal. That yes, that's it. The, yeah. the moon, the moon around Duro. Yes, um, yes, we can and meet then, there. That will be. And then Garrett just squared fine. up. <laughs> yes, that'll be just fine. That will work for me. Um, oh, this might interest you as well. He kind of uh, goes to tapping on his hollow communicator. 
And eventually, uh, the screen share comes up instead of his own face. Uh, you see a, a, some new, some wartime reporting, effectively. Uh, a lot of propaganda slides and things like that. Um, in basic, across the, apparently, like, banners and graffiti mm-hmm. and things like that, uh, there is a group that is calling themselves Daklin's Act Dogs that are currently openly rebelling and fighting against the Galactic Order's attempts to instate themselves as government for Corellia after the destruction of the Minor Dictat Circles. Hmm. Uh, None other than uh, Janela Fazar, uh, who Jum you met remember her. Have, mm-hmm. have met her before? You were in her office at one point in time. Yep. That was one of Daklin's former uh, aides, now or former aides, and now former minor dictat of Corellia as well. Um, is apparently leading part of this resistance from locations unknown on Corellia. Um, and one other familiar face uh, has taken up the blaster. That being none other than Tinzo Anda uh, himself. It was looking rather weathered for a 16-year-old. Much, much, much different than you last remember him, even through the Holocaust. Let's see. Well, and that was the, uh, that was the Duros that was kid? The- it was a kid that I inspired yes. in the caverns below the city. Hopefully I don't get his ass killed. Mm-hmm. That was the guy that Jacob said, the fates swirl. I did. That, that is, that, yes, that's him. Mm-hmm. He's the, the fate swirler. These, this is the swir- this is the fates swirl, duh. Past tense. Okay. Where yeah. we are now. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you become your own main character due to other characters. Duh. That's, that's... Fucking awesome. We'll take it. Um, things have... And cuts back to Weesh. Things have been... Hmm. Not great. But... It seems that the... Much of the... Galactic Order presence has... Dispersed and, um... Well... It's still technically Galactic Order. I'm splitting hairs. Um, Mm. Swaps over to another little screen pops up, showing, of course, uh, a few modern Star Destroyers that on the bottom of the Star Destroyers are the emblem of the Imminent Fist. Um, Mostly, we says, mostly now, seems that um, the... Remnants of the Hidden Hand and now Imminent Fist are vying for control of the planetary system. Which, uh, to be expected, I assume. How is the Imminent Fist faring in that? I would say probably much better than most would hope. Either way is concerning. I, I guess I take agree. the devil I know. Hyperspace travel viable? For oh, us? certainly, yes. They, you will, of course, be stopped. Um, and, you know, not just a scan, but you will most likely be searched by, first of all, getting into the system, most likely by leftover order guards or order customs and getting closer to Corellia herself will probably be, like I said, more Eminent Fist. In case you are unaware, um, the Eminent Fist's flagship is the Opulence um, mm-hmm. and Captain what a pretentious helmed name for a by no other than Boss Crag uh, himself. Which, uh, June, of course, I know you 
Mm -hmm. I have experience with that. I'm intimately familiar. Of course. So. Getting in, I, I doubt you were that popular. Getting in probably is no problem. Getting out in probably no problem unless you cause too much trouble. Thanks. But they certainly could use some help. I don't make myself intimately familiar with the planet side goings on, but I'm sure any forward operating bases and things like that of the Imminent Fist um, probably are in need of being flushed out or destroyed or recaptured and things of that nature. Well, if we go help some people, that makes us forget about the problems that we have to turn around and face. So let's just run away a little bit. Go to Corellia. Might can you might be coming to see you, Weef. That's well, well, I'll, uh, I'll pull the credits out. <clears throat> How are you, G Tui? I say Android. I have survived two near catastrophic hyperdrive failures. And it's grown, it's helped you grow to trust us more, hasn't it? No. Hmm. But. Don't exactly well, have any other options. Get a bill from Aldi. Well. Did you learn anything from Ed and Panlex? Those guys knew some stuff. Like a I'm, lot of stuff. Don't misunderstand me. I dislike having strangers aboard my vessel. Your vessel? Uh, <clears throat> uh, aboard the ve the vessel I... <clears throat> of course. Um, pilot. A simple cal a calculation error. Yes, I navigate my, my navigatory vessel. Mm. Mm. Indeed. Now, about this temporary body arrangement we have yeah, for we need myself. Money. Of course, of course. Money, yes, credits. If you have some savings, that would help. We can, you know, match you, but... I don't believe I've been paid. <clears throat> we got you that body? That's pretty good. Right. Correct. I and I am... You can walk. Grateful. You don't have to walk. And don't forget... <laughs> This is a R unit headpiece, uh, effectively yes. spot welded yes. onto a gonk droids yes. Uh, yes. body. Yes, entire body. We, we know. Not just... <laughs> We're aware. I know what just... the fuck I'm looking at. <laughs> just making sure. Just making sure. This, this fucking everyone remembers just exactly what amalgamation monstrosity of a droid we are looking at. That's what he'll, I needed. Monstrosity. He'll get what I give him. Indeed. Well, we have we have your list. I mean, like we're we're on the lookout. The for wish it, list. Yes. We need the, the credits, and to save the galaxy, and to help the people on Corellia, and to stop a ritual, and figure out why this guy can just teleport into my dreams, and find out who her is. Yeah, but we're gonna get you some body parts. The life of will. organic seems so convoluted. But we are inexorably intertwined. We are. You haven't tried to make Where are we going? I'll go set our course. I tire of you, your organic thoughts. Wow. Do we want to go around? We're going really um, or we wherever our hyperdrive can't take us. We are at full operational capacity. So. So to uh, Taurus Terminal, I believe our next destination would be. Indeed. Hey, how do we know we're clean? Because they're gonna check us. We're clean. Yeah. Should we uh, should we hide the holocron or any That'd other be, things? Be a great idea. But they're gonna scan us, right? They will try. What's the law on searching my person? Can they just search my ship and not my person? Yeah. They do whatever <laughs> the hell they is want. This a <laughs> thank, you, thank, you, no. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
<laughs> no, fuck. That's it. That's it. That's they just it. shelled the core world capital. Not quite. That's Coruscant. Not, not quite. Ah, my apologies. Oh, I forget. Very they important mid room uh, economic planet. Not Can I much pull up Some like some fucking FAQ about uh man, I'm, I'm blanking on their name. So, uh, 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 it's an authoritarian <laughs> state. Um, you don't have rights. <laughs> if, I imagine, if that's, I imagine like, we can do it. Especially, this is, uh, this is 1939, uh, or 1940 Poland. Um, yeah, but what if I come in, like, wearing their flag and stuff? Oh, well, they do then, hey, they back, could do whatever they want. The back the like blue. That's right, you might get back out of a ticket. Blue. Yeah, you never, you never know. Little sticker on the back windshield. I'm I'm a big blue backer. Anyways, uh, twelve thirteen you know kids. Um. Anyways, uh, yeah. So I mean, might could potentially help you out a little bit if you um really. Mm-hmm. Hey, I I love what you guys are doing for the safety and prosperity of the galaxy. Keep keep her up. Thin blue line. I mean, if that fails, uh, June's always got a bit of a way with people i do Jim, you're good at talking to people hmm, and in just... case we need a quick refresher on galactic politics which of course are uh, i do ever changing and, oh, yeah. and ordering the galactic orders are or the galactic order is the remnants of the political regiment of the first order seeing as how the military side of it was destroyed um over the planet exegol the mm. galaxy at large is fractured and splintered in between factions. The largest faction, of course, being the Galactic Order, which maintains many, uh, much of the uh, s- Galactic North and Galactic Spinward, which is East, portions of the Mid and Outer Rim. And now, with a revitalized military force, are... Convincing planetary systems to join under their banner, offering protection and safety and economic viability in trying times. Yeah, because that won't go wrong. Exactly. Never um, has before. Everything else, of course, is... Many, many systems are fending for themselves or relying on old alliances to protect themselves, um, seeing as how... Most of the um, Republic fleet was destroyed before Exegol as well. So people are trying to revitalize and rebuild the Republic as well. So, that is about all that you guys are privy to as so, Galactic so, Citizens. So... Who's trying to rebuild the Republic? Um, Who's pretty that much, mantle, pretty much the good guys, uh, <laughs> if you will. No, 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 no. I'm like, who? Like, like, are they called the Republic? Like, who's the good guys? The good guys would be yes, the the Republic. They're tagged on with. I feel like they're they're not as centralized, right? As they are the not. No. Um, okay. Many many hyperspace lanes uh, have been effectively closed. So like. Being able to go in and out of planetary systems as being highly policed um, by systems, their like their own rules and things like that. the mm. The galactic core itself is, of course, still very Republic central because they're all close enough, like physically close enough to each other. Mm-hmm. Um, once you get past the core, so into the colonies, the mid rim and the outer rim, things become very splintered and fractioned. It's like a, it's like an early game version of Risk, if you will. Like the board game. So things are bad. Uh, right now, I would say that the Galactic Order, as it is, um, is is winning. Not that it's That's open. Not, not that it's open warfare, because it's not. No. Just in some search, centralized places, but um, they are very strong opening. It's very, they have they've played a they've played a great king's pawn opening um and have it have progressed pieces into attacking positions yes Joom, you also remember from uh boss Craig's data pad that 
the high reclaimant was the one that promised these Star Destroyers to him if he was able to ensure that the Dictat buildings would go up in laser flames. Seeing as how that happened, now the uh, Galactic Order has kind of moved into the Corellian system under the mm -hmm. guise of the Imminent Fist and are doing their thing, which seems to obviously foretell a tie between the High Reclaimant or the Reclaimants and mm -hmm. the Galactic Order, which is not something you guys have really um, dug into or investigated at all. Um, the only time you guys have seen the High Reclaim or the Reclaimants and the Galactic Order in the same place was on Corellia whenever you guys were trying to evacuate. And it's not like they had troops with them. It was literally just the Reclaimants, and then you guys ran into the landing party of the <coughs> Galactic Order on the way out. Okay. So, yeah. So Taurus terminal. I think we're ready to roll. Yeah. All right. So get a nice little Chandra. get a nice little jumpy jump to Taurus terminal, and you guys going through and winding back up at the bar. Weesh is of course there. <clears throat> you guys are fifteen thousand physical credits heavier. Um. And yeah, you guys are a short hop, skip, and a jump away from Corellia. Um, your hyperdrive is still kind of patchworked. Um, you guys at, at Taurus Terminal, if you wanted to restore your Class 2 hyperdrive capabilities instead of your current Class 5, uh, that a slight 5,000 credits would, of course, cover that as a base cost. Um, how much do we owe the... Hut? I think we're like... Oh, we, we owe half of what we originally... We, we, we put like a half much. of it down, right? Um, the debt is much lesser Give me just a second i have it saved i think one of you guys has it as well um okay. raleigh chris uh yeah you guys uh, only yeah. owe 2500 yeah 2, we were pretty good so 7500 we fixed the ship and we own it that is correct and if I could get just 75. like you know one thousand of that to to get a new weapon, that would just that would be fantastic. Well, hold on, that's fine. Hold on for a second. Oh, we have six spots. Are we gonna be splitting this fifteen thousand between uh, between us equally? I mean, once we pay off the ship, imagine so. Yeah. So it'd be seventy five. <clears throat> oh, okay. We kind of don't go anywhere without the ship. Yeah. I mean, well, I do it, understand that, but there is some things that are quite pressing, my friend. What you need? Uh, <laughs> I need money for medicine, sir. Uh, how, how much? much? How much was it again, Jake? Fifteen, 15 bands, buddy. Fifteen bands. How bad do you need this medicine? <laughs> So effectively, Wait, um, will my mother uh, to is refresh, effectively dying. To refresh, Timjin, uh, fifteen thousand is the price point in which your mother can have uh, life-saving surgery. <clears throat> so, like, I understand y'all want to pay off this ship and stuff, but to be fair, we were supposed to have a huge cut from our last job. That didn't happen. I mean, we. Yeah, I know y'all got stuff to pay off, but I wasn't quite involved in that just yet. I'd like a fair cut, just even between all of us, and I could put that aside for my mother. Give, give me one second. I call passive. We're sorry. The number you're trying to reach is no longer in service. I call Soma. Do it again. Watch him. Hey, this is Fleet Fire Incorporated. Uh, sorry, I can't get the phone right now. 
Leave a message and I'll call you back. That's about right. Hey, you know any doctors? Let me know like yesterday. <laughs> Bye. I tried. Try. All two contacts. Ah, oh, dang. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, shit, man. I don't know anybody that's got like 15k worth of life-saving medicine, so. Maybe Look, I know there's going to be more coming through. I'm not asking for the whole 15,000. We all did equal leg work through here. I just wanted equal pay. Of course. Yeah, it's on four of ways course. Or five that should ways. be implied. We don't split, um, we don't do lion's shares around here. It's you do your part, so you get paid. So the 7,500 split? He wants to split of the 15. Mm-hmm. With the 15. And then we Which all chip be, in for the ship. If there's four, it's 3,750. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, I, I'm good with that. I just need the 1,000, really. For now. <laughs> I look back in my room to, at the uh, Mandalorian helmet that I still need to build armor for. <laughs> Griff. Indeed. Wait, so do we have the credits already? They already wired yes. that shit to us? Well, they, okay. You guys went there and, and got them physically, yeah. So you have a, okay. you have a briefcase of them. <laughs> a brick. A brick, so, if you will. We are going down 7,500 plus 37. <laughs> 500 plus 3750 plus Knox's a thousand. Hmm. I only have one dark side it, point. It, it, Do I really want to do this right it, now? It, 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 it. <laughs> so that leaves 2750. Look, Timjin, no one is a bigger fan of your mother than I am. <laughs> um, but shouldn't you have mentioned this whenever we were gambling? With yeah, 20,000 life saving idea. credits? Yeah, wait. Some now you wait, do know. Wait. Wait, you're the one that gambled it away. What are you talking about? Are you no, gonna pretty, gamble this money? I'm pretty sure it was Sabo. Wait a minute. It was, did happen it to was, all that money we did. It was. Have. It was Sabo. Oh God. Is Sabo still? Is Sabo still here? Uh, yes. Currently, he's, he's where uh, is he? They're right next to you. You son of a bitch. Listen, listen, hey. I didn't know. Timson, I thought you already paid that money off. No way. You didn't hear us? We had this discussion before we even no got way. all the way out of here. No way, Timson's gas or Simon's gaslighting Timson right now. <laughs> buddy, listen. Buddy, listen. Buddy. Timson, look. Listen. I know I owed you five hundred credits, but God, I mean, hold on a second. But what the crib, man? They spotted us. The crib. You know, it's a. Uh... It's a, it's a respect a thing. <laughs> stick, <laughs> stick him, uh, stick him a solid one, definitely. They wouldn't, Tim, they wouldn't have just let us walk out with the credits. They gave it to us because we went to the casino. You think they're just going to let us walk out with the voucher and go cash it in somewhere? And then you just go play with it? Well, yeah. If it's somebody else's money, it's not our money to play with, Savo. They told us to play with it. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you lose that kind of money, they still come back for it. If you don't have, I mean, sorry. If you don't have credits to pay it, they take it in other ways. I didn't say it was a credit line. I'll punch him again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> a two is enough. Oh, look, I understand. I just got this great line wire through for a quick job. A couple thousand credits. They're, they're, they're yours. I'll go do the leg work. I'll go do the run. No problem. Okay. I, I, I kind of just, I kind of just like give him a, a, a really upset look for the most part. I don't even know what to say. Two punches and some credits. If us, and I kind, I kind of like poke him in the chest. I'm like, if us staying partners means anything to you, you gonna make this up to me however you can. I'll make this up. Look, Timjin, you know me. I'll make this right. I'll make this right. 
You remember? This better uh, not be like that time on Taurus. No, it's not gonna be like this. I promise. You're not gonna be there. It won't be anything like. It. Anyways, you remember? Uh, you remember Yorda, Yorda H, a little Jawa fella that was running, uh, running Spice back in the day. Yeah, of course I remember him. Well, he's already here, with a little scout finder. I hop in there, head out to this backwoods planet, pick up a load, drop it, we're good to go. <laughs> Look, I'll be like back in. Moving. I'll be back in no time. Okay, like, like I like even, like I haven't even been going. <laughs> Sounds like you better get stepping then. All right. Cool. That's cool. Thanks for calling. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so I'm a little <clears throat> strange. So uh, that's so I have a little bit. Heads to the back to the hangar bay on Taurus. Bye, Chris. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Hey, great! I I totally forgot we had to slide him out for a little bit again, but yeah, great way to go, Will. Good job, Will. Oh, way yeah. to think on your feet, that. buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Helped your boy out, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 Wait a wait a keep wait a wait to keep yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, and also a, a major a major plot hole fixed. Just like that. <laughs> Just like that. Wait, why didn't we use our free 20,000 credits to fix Will's backstory? Oh, this, this is one. <laughs> okay, well. So we have the 3750 split. Um... And actually, I'll go ahead. Oh, I just, I just put it to where there was 2750 left after Garrett got his 1,000. Okay. We paid the seventy five hundred to get the ship owned and yeah. the hyperdrive fixed, and Will got his thirty seven fifty. Oh, perfect! So there's so there's twenty seven fifty left collected. Yes, in the group fund. Great. Sweet. It's just yes. like Cowboy Bebop. I love it. This is exactly how I always mm -hmm. plan it to go. Where looks do like I looks like my... looks like steak and bell peppers again tonight. <laughs> it'll uh, it'll be on your character page, Will. I'm looking on it, I just don't see it. Somebody so checking group percent. funds? Do we have by, a group fund? By XP. I don't believe we actually XP. have any group funds available right X now. Oh, I see it. 37. So, oh, sweet, so I'm at 3,800. Nice. Who has a note? Somebody put a note. Oh, I'm fixing my money over here. Wait, oh, I have uh, to edit. The group fund? Like, 27, I, can, I can add in yes, a group fund note. I will also make a group fund note for you guys on my Obsidian group funds. And uh, what's it at? Current. I got my Obsidian right here. Twenty-seven fifty-eight. <laughs> I also just wanted to take take uh, the turn after Sabo after Sabo walks out. I kind of turn back to the crew. I'm like, look, no, I was being a little bit, uh, what you call it. A little bit brash with you guys, but once I get this stuff settled, it's gonna come back to the team. I promise you guys. Yeah, it, it's all right, Tempted. I mean, to be fair, I would also be kind of angry if I was in your position. Well, I'm glad you understand, Knox. Now, anyway, um... does anybody have something I could uh, fix this headache with? <laughs> They might have some old coffee uh, still on the ship. Now the good news is it was a uh, it would have been a long trip to Taurus Terminal still on your bum Oh yeah, that's drive, right. Never so mind. Never mind. Hopefully you're still not hungry. <laughs> that's a medical problem no, in and of itself. If, if, if you I are. gave myself a no, I gave myself a headache from yelling at Asabo just now. <laughs> uh, uh, June, you think, yes. you think there's a uh, a weapons cellar somewhere on this terminal? Oh sure. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Go ahead and make a make a streetwise check for me, bud. Could be a group one. I have two. I have minus two setback dice on there. Uh, it's only two green dice for me, but I can take away two setback if I, I have sit. three. <coughs> three green. But I would like June to come with me to help talk to the merchant. Yep. Or whoever. Oh, certainly. certainly, guys. This is a smuggler's paradise. It'll be an easy check. Find a. Uh, weapons vendor. Now you guys Just have one. been gone. Ooh, I will say, because of the recent events and embargo, it'll make it a red dice. So, okay. purple to red, red, so just one red, and then the rest of your check. Cool. Um, boost die or no? 
Uh, it is a group check, so yeah, boost that. Oh right, yeah. What would you like your advantages to be? Three advantages. Um, that they have uh, the shield gauntlet <clears throat> that I'm looking for. I don't know. Well, two successes. I'm very, um, I'm very lenient on that. Uh, so I will say yes. They in fact do. Now the important question is. What's the uh, what's the rarity on that sucker? Uh, I believe it's eight. Oof. Yikers. Yeah. So, rarity eight. Yep. Collection two stun damage rarity eight. Uh, I see a. By the way, I see a fifteen hundred price tag for me right here. Um, yeah, I have a. I had nine hundred. Uh, oh, okay. Previously. Great. Um. This is this will definitely be a negotiation check due to the rarity. Um, so Jim, I believe that will be that will your, be me. Your uh, playing field. Oh yeah, what am I looking at? Uh, you are gonna look at for this merchant in particular, um, underworld, shady, current system lockdown. I'm gonna say. A call it two reds and a purple, uh, with two setbacks for the rarity and the current embargo going. Uh, Paul, I'm just gonna have to go ahead and negate two of those setbacks. Uh, Perfect. Very I'll good. say, like, if if it'll help, I have these uh these old shot gloves that you know we can trade them in or Ooh. something. Oh, absolutely. Oh, trade in value. I love it. Go ahead and toss in a uh, toss in a little boost dice for me. Okay. And uh, right. do you have your influence uh, upgrade where you get to add your force die to your check, or do you remember? I do as okay, well. Great. I think oh. I have to roll. Don't I have to roll a force die? Uh, you do. To do it? Well, I'm gonna. Oh, no, 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 not you. Roll. I'm gonna roll with, this shit. You roll it with the check. Oh, perfect. Because yeah. I have a fucking crazy pool and I don't want to remake it. Uh, here it goes. Oh wow! Wait. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'll use okay. it. Ah, Jim <laughs> says he'll use it. I don't even have to. I don't even have to fucking say shit. Oh, I don't have to Fuck. say shit. Jim fires it out of the gate. Boom! Yeah, I'll use it. Fuck, yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah. I feel like all, all of us are gonna... and then a dark side. <laughs> all of us are gonna fall to the dark side. Like it's just gonna happen. I guess I've been a good already. boy for a while. I, this is I true. don't know. Listen, I'm not worried. This is true. Where's I all? Where's all these conflict discussions on all these dark side bips that we? Uh, don't there. worry. It's it's coming up. We're we're. Oh my. We're we're getting there. We haven't had. I've been uh, a good boy for the. I, whenever I give XP, we'll solve conflict. Chill as well. on me. Make make no mistake. <laughs> Chill on my phone. New note, <laughs> episode seventeen. First note for this one: Doom conflict point. <laughs> Jim was a bad boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. Doom. But I got my boy some sweet gear. Oh yeah. Okay, so. Um, normally with the rarity, he was trying to charge a premium for them to what upwards a, a of a 40% markup. However, with a little a bit of expert negotiating, plus the eventual throw in the last minute throw in of a trade in item and just a little bit of sing song forceful communication. Mm -hmm. He agrees to of a fifteen hundred dollar price point. Easily. And Knox, you are a Ooh, yeah. new well, it cost owner. Well, a little bit of threat, of dude. Couple shield or one shield gun, but or I'll say it's a pair, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, yeah, whatever you want. You can also describe them if you like. I don't care how they look. You'd like them to actually mm -hmm. be true Van Brace gauntlets. So whenever you think actually so. build like, your armor suit, they go together. I love that. I like, oh yeah. I like how it goes. Uh, armor on the outside of the forearm, kind of like straps on the inner part. You activate them. It's like a big, like, teal blue, like, sh uh, energy shield that mm -hmm. comes out. Let's elite. Oh, yeah. I Thank like you, it. June. I, I can guarantee that I would not have been able to get these if you had not been here. Hey, things that are good for you are very good for me. 
Also, uh, I'm sure you already know this, uh, Garrett, but Shield Gauntlets have Reflection 2. Mm -hmm. Which means for you, as I uh, real quickly up again, or Deflection 2. That gives but it you... can also be used for reflect. Uh, yes, it can be used for reflect, but it also gives you uh, your range defense now is two. Hell yeah! So any ranged attacks to you have an automatic two, um, two setback dice. Knox gets shield awesome. gauntlets. Okay. Now, a little fresh gear, a little Karelian centralized location, and, a little <laughs> and oh, a little conflict, not only that, but and, if I spin this dark side point, as you guys are heading back to the Justicar, None other. None other. I hate hearing these words. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? None other than Gerudo the Hut himself, flanked by a couple of armed guards uh, slither toward you guys as you are entering the Taurus Terminal spaceport. Oh, oh, oh. My friends, I have been waiting to see you or hear from you. It has oh, been... This guy? It's been too long. Sorry. It's easy, Tim. Easy. I'm sure you understand it's been a very eventful few weeks. Of course it has, but the eventfulness of our situation should not, of course, keep me from my credits. Naturally. But we did make a sizable uh, deposit, about half of the entire worth of, of our debt, uh, not too long ago, so... Surely we've kept your pockets lined adequately. Yeah. Uh, yes, Tinder. So would would I know what huts are? Yeah. Oh, you, yeah. Most certainly. Oh yeah. Okay. All right, you're you're a criminal. You know what huts are. Continue. <laughs> all right. Continue. Just making sure. The anatomy. Of, he knows the exact anatomy yeah, of every yeah, huts. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, and as they are, as they were, things on Arcanus have been taxing. And I am in need of every credit I can gather. Understandably so. Now, did we send the 2500 to them? Well, they're physical. We have so, we. Physical? Oh, I see. So would you like the remaining debt on the ship? I absolutely would. So if we have that... I'll tell him a little bit of debt be gone real quick. Yep. Oh! Do you? Yeah. We actually just got paid for a job, and we were going to send it through, but we had to come and collect the payment for the job because they're not letting big credits through. I see understandable story well considering the circumstances I'll be gracious and waive the interest I had accrued onto the debt Gerudo you're gracious regardless of the circumstances oh 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 Zadul <laughs> You flatter me. I know the way to a hut's heart. <laughs> However, you must understand. Can't have you continue to be late on payments. 
even though our business may be concluded in this particular matter. Arcanus is still very much in the air. Sorry, one more time? Arcanus is the, the uh, state of Arcanus is still very much mm. okay. Okay. in the air. I'm sorry, Arcanus is what? Arcanus is uh, the planet in which it's his moon or his no it's a it's a it's a full planet um that you mean uh... arcania yeah oh yes arcania Sorry, okay it's arcanus. arcania the arcanus are from there <laughs> arcania uh, uh not me double checking my it is arcanus it is a, it is arcanus i'm putting money on it right now arcanus <laughs> Yes, it is Arcanus, not Arcadia. Okay, it is Arcanus. Understand. Not Garrett. Not Garrett making me. I was like, oh damn, Garrett's. Right. I wrote down the. It one. is Arcadia, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> Arcanus. Uh... <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Garrett. <laughs> Arcanus. Um, reports from there uh, mention that a group of you were. Seen at one of the long-term family estates that have been giving us issues in our acquisition of the planetary resources. Do you mind, perhaps, explaining that situation to me? Hmm. I wasn't there for it, so... Well, we went there with that one who brought us in, and that was really before we knew much of them, and spoke to man I can't remember who we spoke to it was someone that was significant to Daklin but now that Daklin isn't here we kind of it's all lost with him that would be uh spoke with the uh, Anra who was uh I don't tell him that yeah okay I'm just making sure make sure you <laughs> yes, 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 I, yes. I didn't know either Thank yes you. yes 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 gotcha 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 <laughs> Talk to Anra, who, yeah, refresher, <laughs> Darth Noxus's niece. Okay. Uh, daughter mm -hmm. of a... We went to a grave warrior. over there, and I believe... Is that where I got the amulet? Yes. Okay. Which is at my mom's house now. Yes. Big mom. Mm hmm Oh, how interesting. You understand it's a bit... Confusing why this report would reach my ears and then you lot would fall off of my sensors um, for so long before I happened upon you here. Yeah, we had a mm. bit of an event with some, some dark space. We were, we were on Corellio when uh Oh yeah. All this happened. That's right. We had to bust up the Hut Brigade after we fucking said, "Hey Garuda, you might relocating." Got nuked and we ended up well beyond the outer rim. And there's nothing really good out there. But we had some help and made it back and honestly, this is our first hyper space travel into where we're used to cuz just before this, we were one jump away from the outer room, and before that, we were in no man's land. Yeah. That we I were. apologize for our lack of communication, Gerudo, but we kind of didn't have it. Well, Roz, go ahead and make a make a uh, make a uh, make a charm check. Make an me. honesty make check. Make a nice boy make check. A, make a charm check. For Charm, shit, Ross, charming people. What? I wiggle my tentacles and yes. shit. Or I mean, I, I mean, swear my show. You, you, you <laughs> pick negotiation if you want. <laughs> I think I'm like the same at both. Probably so. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. Hey, let's charm them. Let's charm. I'm just being honest. Put this the schmooze honesty on. Honesty is a charm. And this, of course, uh, being Easy a roll. being a hut. <laughs> uh, you know what? We uh, we won't use his stats here. Make it a hard check. Three purples. Bing, bing, um, bing. We will use... Before you do it. <laughs> we will use <laughs> is nobody's fool though Fuck and you. slap on two setbacks. 
Okay. So three purples, I just two saw blacks. that the other dark side point was nine minutes ago. Three purples, two blacks. Mm -hmm. I'm a winner. Hey. Yeah, don't forget to but I win. Four threat. Wow. Wow. Oh, Looks the shit out of me while I so. Four threat. Hmm. Oh, I, I know. I know what this. I know. Maybe I'm not respectful enough. I, I know what this threat can be. Don't worry about it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it under control. I keep looking at his tits. <laughs> no, that's funny. <laughs> uh, and Tits honestly, uh, that. they are huts are uh, hermaphroditic in nature, so you got to make sure to tell them they look voluptuous. I wonder they're if you'd like, like that one. They're like three feet wide. They are. 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 Their their physical size is a <laughs> status marker. <laughs> they uh, stop. Fuck. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, got it. Oh 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 oh. Etuta, Raz. So forthcoming is a good trait to have. I've decided to let it slide this and choose to believe you. you. Thank you for paying off your debt. I'll be in touch. Thank you, your graciousness. Excellently done. And he slither dithers off. Alrighty. And Jim, where? I usually just let you talk to the huts, but I, I kind of got scared there. I didn't did well. I didn't. Uh, if out. I speak, if I speak all too much, he may grow a bit um, tired of hearing me speak. Honestly, weary of my ways. Like it's I, best I, to change it up every now and then. It's the first and only hut, and I, 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 it's hard to look him in the face. There's so much else to look at. There's a lot. Yes, focus is a key trait when dealing with yeah. huts. Yeah, hey, Tim Jen, that's the guy that we owed money to for the ship. He actually... Yeah, uh, I kind of I kind of caught that from, from the from the conversation. <laughs> yeah. Not uh, not too excited about him saying he'll be in touch with us, though. I, I was hoping... This How'd y'all get wrapped last. up with him in, again? Y'all just, like, needed to or something? He needed uh, a ship. Yeah, he sold us the ship. Mm. And money. But we owed him money Shoot. after we got the ship. So it's kind of like 50 50. Shoot, y'all got a lot of cojones going in uh, there messing with them huts. It's the last thing I'd like to do. Well, this one's been all right. Yeah, he's there's been very. Yes, yeah, uh, very straightforward for a hut. Be careful you don't slip begrudgingly. Uh, See. We paid I'm him. Just a, we paid him. He still said no. That's what I was. That we were no, late, that's what I was about. No, that's what I was about to say. You don't. You don't want to hear about the guys that don't pay. I don't intend on not paying. That's why we made sure. <laughs> yep. Good old yeah. nugget. Poor fella. At the end of the day, these huts are <laughs> simply businessmen. That they are. Yep. True. Sure. Where to? Galaxy of problems and. Only, only one ship. One <laughs> ship, yeah. <laughs> and only four guys. We get heat checked by the hut. All right. Let's see. Let's, let's. Corellia's right there. We gotta get checked to get in. Dump the office of our physical check for Chandrilla. Oh, wait, that's two different things. I'm yes. tripping balls. They are, okay. in fact. Uh. Colt. Colt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I kind of want to go stop a cult. Is that wrong? That doesn't. It doesn't feel wrong. Let's go stop a cult. I, 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 <laughs> almost, I almost feel bad about the people on Corellia, but you know, it, it's kind of like one big ass army versus a bunch of. It's effectively alien. a bunch of corpo it, it, soldiers versus yeah. uh, 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 hey, an acro, uh, uh, not an acro, but an imperialist <laughs> army. 
So they should be good for like a week or something, right? Um, do you perhaps want to make a uh, knowledge check using the hollow net and see what uh, the ideas of uh, the people on Corellia could possibly be? Am I checking like Reddit? Like, yeah, I... effectively, yeah. <laughs> You can check Fox. Literally, you can check, you're, uh, you you're can checking check... Ukraine Reddit. What is it, Neimoidian <laughs> News? Yeah. <laughs> you, you can check uh, Galactic a, Order News. B, yeah. C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. Where's my fucking knowledge? Uh, knowledge should be... I have... They actually don't call them education. knowledge. It, um, use uh, It's Core World, so click Core Worlds for me. Gotcha. And I would say, um, make it a, uh, uh make, make it an average check. And one will be upgraded due to extenuating circumstances, um, that you are unaware of. So, red and purple. Got him. Love, love, I, I, love I to see. Two, I rolled three, baby. What you want? <sighs> but hey, 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 one failure, one advantage, and a triumph. Ugh. 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 Hmm. What would you like your triumph to be? Well, like I can't succeed. You cannot. But you are so you are unable to get a good read on what is actually going on on the surface of Corellia. I will say your advantage is that most of the sources seem uh, too clean. Can my Almost triumph... Almost doctored, if you will. Can the triumph be the information is locked behind like a hollow net page or something ah uh, you got the fucking new code? york times you gotta pay to yeah read it. behind the paywall behind the galactic word paywall is the information you're searching Dude, for. i, I can't say, find it but i kind of know where to look or is I, that yes i would say that with the triumph um that stuff is it, it, i would say that you know that information is actively being like scrubbed from uh so i don't look at it like oh it's it. going yeah. terrible you're like oh things are yeah. actually going great people okay. are accepting That's... uh the galactic orders uh installation and are really happy that it's happening no uh you would know that um this is Rad's first instance of fake news. You're right, exactly, yeah. Uh, and the fact that you guys, you know, we're down there. Uh, <laughs> so, helps you out. Um, and you've seen a little bit of the propaganda already. So, I would say that uh, the Triumph, you would... Um, you'd know that it's being scrubbed, and you would know that that requires a lot of manpower, and not only that, but a powerful enough connection to make sure that everything that goes out onto the hollow net passes through you first. Russian. Being Russian that man. with that said, you would probably assume, Roz, that it's either the opulence itself or it's either the opulence itself or a com uh, like a com tower, com station planet side that is powerful enough to hold that um, amount of uh, data. Okay. Okay. So, do it. That works for me. I go to r slash Nautilin before I leave. <laughs> Hit the post of the week. And then post of the week out. is, um, of course, um, it's a swimsuit model season, obviously. On, uh... <laughs> <laughs> guys, 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 look, 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 look. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh. It's like the oh. uh, classic uh, Saturday morning cartoon, like outline pose, you know, head back, hair down, one knee, uh, see... sitting in the sand, obviously. High Tinox, impact what's special porn. about her? That she... I can't make a fish porn star name off that. Look, <laughs> what's special about her is she's actually a twin. 
and she has a dozen tails, and the twin has a baker's dozen tails. Wow. But, like, don't look up their names in public. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we have to. Yeah, yeah, they're swimsuit models, but, like, they do other stuff, and you don't want to get caught doing it. <laughs> wow, I thought no should not oh, wow. <laughs> A lot of life in the sea, man. A lot of life. Yeah, <sighs> life. All right. did, Tim, did Tim Jin come with us to uh, Mom and Pops? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. That's where he got okay. the gauntlet. Okay, that's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. So, do you, well, where, where are we? We uh, trying to head in? Or are we trying to head out? Sweetly, I'm down with the cult. Cult, cult, cult. On to Chandrilla. I cult guess. Cult. It is. You can't kill all of Corellia. Also, uh, a, an important distinction. This is true. So, Not unless I release the nine tails. Correct. <laughs> Jubi. Now, on to Chandrilla we go. Now, once we land, you guys know of the Crystal Caverns. We do. That is pretty much the only thing that you guys uh, have heard of. So, outside of that, where do you guys want to begin your search? Hmm. It's a touristy spot where we can ask questions. Yeah, the space station, I guess, is as good as any. This is a... Do I know if they have, like... Like a u a uniform, but like a <laughs> like a type of robe that they all wore, or something. Or did I just know about them, like by words? You would have known about them by words. Yeah. What is the loot command? Okay, there. Nice. Okay, so. I would say that you know about them just by words. I also forget that I can do this sort of thing. As you guys are flying in, uh, or right as you are getting close to jumping out of, or dropping out of hyperspace, Nox, you have a vision, obviously. Uh, I forgot that this is the thing that's supposed to happen. <laughs> Seeing things. Again. This is uh this is like a, a a spot in time kind of vision you are f you've had a few of these before you're familiar with them. but here there is a massive not i won't say familiar but it is a stone throne not unlike the one you've seen that the high reclaimant uh was sitting on it is somewhere dark, um, not a fabricated room. Looks like earthen uh, materials. And out of and around the throne itself, uh, large bioluminescent crystals jut out and uh, grow from it, as well as in other places in the room. <clears throat> there, in front of the throne itself, is a sideways sarcophagus. Uh. Uh, you can't quite make out the details of it. It is closed. And it has drapery and things like that coming off of the sides of it. There is tapestry, bannery, and things like that hanging off the wall behind the throne. But other than that, it kind of has the hazy... Uh, yeah. s singular focus to the vision. You almost blink in the vision and there is a figure sitting on a throne with his feet like propped up onto the sarcophagus. Uh, he's wearing heavy boots. Um, doesn't look like much armor but he does have a large 
a strapped pauldron on his left shoulder. Uh, he is shirtless. Hmm. Um, and, you know, chiseled, uh, I would say chiseled, definitely fit individual. Uh, his skin is almost pitch black against everything else in the vision. Um, like, excessively black. Like, no, like, basement, no windows, no lights, black. And he is a Nautilin. Oh, wow. Hmm. Uh, obviously, the head tails kind of give it away. Um, and he is heavily scarred. Uh, everywhere, pretty much, but the pauldron. There are wounds of every kind, you see. And not all, um, probably none at all. Uh, like professionally healed by any means. Hmm. So, and some are large, nasty gashes. Others are potted. Uh, but it looks like blaster wounds. Sure. Uh, burning scars, not unsimilar to Jooms. Um, literally oh, almost every it. square inch of um, his his visible body. Uh, his eyes are bloodshot, which is uh, rather interesting for a Nautilin. Uh, you notice that his eyes have a almost almost um, sort of murky um, <clears throat> pus-ish kind of color to the rim of them. And you can see the red sort of bloodshot lines arcing through it which is really the only barrier that you can make out between his eyes and the rest of his skin but like if they weren't bloodshot you probably could have tell where his eyes start and his skin begins and he seems very lackadaisical and just kind of like arm up on Paulton's side just resting with his feet up and you see Two very unkempt uh, individuals, uh, burly, um, not malnourished by any means, dragging somebody in by his armpits uh, and just sort of depositing the body right in front of the uh, sarcophagus. Uh, we have found another infiltrator. We defeated him in combat. He perished before we could bring him back to you. Very well. I've not seen this one before. Did he have anything on him? Nothing unusual. The only outstanding feature of his was this and he produces a reclaimant's helmet see the hmm. three striped visor uh, as well as the markings and it is uh, very dirty heavily beat it looks like it's been <sighs> it was on somebody that had been uh, probably laying low in the murk in the mud um, not washed, things like that. No. Yeah. And he tosses it to him over the sarcophagus. The handies catches it. Yeah. I have seen this before. Kicks his feet off the sarcophagus, stands up. Ready yourselves and gather the others. Our time is coming soon. And your vision cuts out. You are back on the just car just as it rocks and you guys drop back into real space. I uh, definitely tell everyone the vision I had. 
uh, the main bullet points. The, there's a reclaimant here. It, they've got to be underground where this this throne and this sarcophagus was. Uh, maybe if there's like a mine, mine shaft or something, that might be a good spot to to look. Uh, oh, he was he was black, black Nautilus. Yeah, mm. jet black. <laughs> Do he I know black, black <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. So that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Will. Wait, wait till I see you. Whoa. Um, so, you have never met one, I would say. Uh, Joom or That's Ross. That's a deep sea. They, yes. Um, I will say, Roz, you specifically remember that whenever you guys had found the cobalt gauntlet the legend of the user was a uh pitch black nautilus jedi mm. jedi at one point yes well you cut out okay oh okay. yes did the cowboy bebop theme play <laughs> yes oh <laughs> Oh. Shit. Does it does it like match the description? Am I like, yo, that might be the dude? Um. Does that does that ping in my head? No. I, 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 I don't want to make it. Not not really. Okay. Not like. Okay. Um. Also, the le like legend of that that you guys looked in had been a long time ago. It wouldn't have been possible that this was okay. that this is him. You would think. Okay. In Roz's mind. In Roz's mind. Yeah. But the only um, other black model I've though, heard of was a was a, was a badass. Yeah. Um. Importantly though, Knox, yes. give me a. It can either be vigilance or knowledge underworld. <laughs> Check. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna or go with streetwise. Underworld. Or streetwise. I, I I can pitch streetwise in there. Uh, I'll stick with Underworld. Okay, so give me Knowledge Underworld. Um, it's been a while. I would say give me... Give me a... Mm, give me an average check with a setback, I think. Setback, mm -hmm. right? Uh, why not? Spend them up, baby. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, wow. Damn. That's buried. Ooh. Zero successes. What am I? Hmm. S something seems familiar. You're not quite sure from where. You think it might be from Nar Shaddaa, um, from whenever you were much, much, much younger. Um, there were a couple infamous Nautilus, <clears throat> but you don't remember any of them being um, pitch black. Um, you, you can remember seeing a news story of one um, that had went on a rampage, uh, had stolen, a, uh, had a streak of, like, stolen airspeeders, uh, and there was video of him tossing a guy out of one, uh, and, like, ripping, like, ripping his whole arm, like, out of socket by itself, like, sure. just clean off, and having the guy, uh, and tossing him out of the airspeeder. Uh, oh, my. So, but he was not originally, it doesn't quite match up, but it's noticeably close. You do, I would say, uh, I would say from your vision, the scar tissue, like specifically the scarring, a lot of the deeper scarring, is not the pitch black. It has a more uh, like almost uh, like a like a a humanish sort of tint. It has a more of a coralish tint to it like a very light pink um healed kind of orangish pink tone 
to the scarring. I look at, uh, at Roz. Uh, Roz, yeah. you said you had a, a scar from, from the, there was a coral, right? That, uh, there was the, there was the Bane root reef that busted me up. Is that scar colored at all? Uh, a check? Uh, yours would be obviously, uh, familiar to your skin tone. So your, your hmm. scarring, wherever it would maybe... Forgot I had the whole scar thing, I'll be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're good. Um, <laughs> Thank which, you for that. Feel free to, uh, if you want to talk about what they look like right now, go ahead. But, uh, because you're two-tone, um, wherever it, they fall upon, uh, naturally your skin healing, it is very close one way, darker or lighter of that tone, depending on... I imagine it's kind of like a... Like you could see where the poison tried to run up me. And as it oh, kind of so came like closer to my heart, oh. yeah, and it's it's whatever that scar tissue color would be up to it, and you can kind of see it start to, it didn't hit my heart, the outside. It, it stays off the left side of my chest, but everywhere else on my torso, you can see whether it's a lot or a little, there's something. How'd you get all that scar tissue again? In the Bane Root Reef, the shit that you swam through. Oh, okay. When I was, uh whatever age pod racing and a kid fall in there and i hopped in and i spent x amount of days in the hospital trying to die x amount Jesus. was like a, a month and a half like six weeks yo that's why i'm this color too what a hero. originally green damn i had no idea yeah sometimes i freak out some of the older nautilus because i look like a like left out in the sun nautilus yeah, you do look a little <laughs> crazy. Yeah, like if I was floating in the water, they'd think I was dead. A little raisiny. Shoot, that could be useful. Hmm. All right. So, with that knowledge in mind, um, in the spaceport itself. Um, if you guys want to fan out and try and gain some knowledge, I will spot you this. You know that uh, whenever you start asking people about, you know, underground and stuff like that, they're very quick to tell you that uh, the mountain range, uh, the crystal caverns uh, themselves are uh, uh, one of the main attractions. Um, they used to have a outpost here, um, of like a Jedi enclave here. And things of that nature that were attached to uh, crystal caverns. Hmm. Ask about the remnants of the enclave. Do what? Um, I want to ask about those remnants of the enclave, the outpost. So, the remnants of the enclave are um, not much. Um, Chandrilla was a huge, um, like, enemy of the Galactic, of the Empire. Uh, like, fought back against the Empire greatly. But couldn't stop themselves uh, from the fate of having most of their Jedi-related stuff uh, sundered and destroyed. Um, do we have a location of the ruins? Uh, yes, the ruins, um, so the Crystal Caverns and the Crystal Canyons are not far from, uh, the capital city, of uh, on Chandra, which is what I'm looking for. I'm really kind of The name eludes me. <laughs> Always does. Uh. Well, Knox, I ain't got much, but I mean, I mean, uh, I've and, uh, Hana City, Hana City, Hana City. I, I assume once we're in there, we can you know, tap into your sense more. But yeah, that's what the I only thing thinking. I've found is this: they they have Jedi Enclave ruins. I don't know if that would be anything we'd be interested in. They might Other have some that, more of those cool puzzle boxes. 
That'd be great. I think we could do like two Daklins in there. I think they'd have like different personalities. What if there was a Daklin oh, with god. two heads? Oh god. Ooh, maybe he can do that in the Holocron. <laughs> Would he be like double smart? What if you just got the two of them and had them talk to each other? Ooh, Ooh it'd be like a loop. Oh! That's a good idea. We need to go find one of those. <laughs> <laughs> But shoot, I'm down. Right yeah, now, our I mean, best option is spelunking and hoping Nox can key us into it. I mean, you don't pretty... think we're gonna run into anything uh, spooky in there, huh? I, I can almost <laughs> Timjin. I can almost guarantee <laughs> Timjin they're cultists. Timjin, Timjin, they're cultists. <laughs> and that, like, there's a small family of uh, of uh, humans walking by, and like the mom, like, uh, grabs the little the little girl away. And, yeah, like, she does. Wizards, they, wizards, like, give you wizards. the weird look. They're 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 cultists. So they like, oh, get, hey, we're wizards, gosh. and like, we're, uh, we're, we're grab wizards. them and hurriedly like take them away. <laughs> hey, be wizard, Timjin. Come on. <laughs> well, I'm always wizard, straight wizard. I'm always, I'm always wizard. That's that's fucking funny. <laughs> hey, I'm always, I'm always wizard. Tim Jen, how's that? How you been feeling with that gauntlet? I don't want to talk about it. It's been pretty itchy. Other than that, it's uh. Have you been able to take it off? No. I'd really like to wash this hand too. I'm I'm pretty sure it uh, smells pretty bad under this thing. Yeah, I think I could smell some of that uh, that whiskey kind of just permeating from it. <laughs> It disinfects it. I already told you. <laughs> and you only hit Savo twice. So I think you've been kind of handling your anger with the thing. I guess. Have I been? I guess. Well, you haven't had anything come up that we needed to check it against. So. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, we haven't th had things get uh, too spicy lately, but I mean, I think I'm fine. Just make sure to steal yourself while we're in there because it will get spooky. Hey, if, hey. if you see or hear any kind of masked uh, figure talking to you, just don't don't listen to him. It, just in general. The but what if he's singer. gonna give me something I want? No, I'm, I'm joking. He take a worried <laughs> look. <laughs> Did you have fifteen thousand dollars to save my mother? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like. <laughs> Um, I'll, guys, my, I, I'll make sure to keep my eyes peeled. You guys hoofing it, uh, taking an airspeeder, taking a what's going on? We uh, ruins, taking our cabins. I think the ruins. Yeah, let's go ruins first. Go check out the ruins. Okay. Yeah. We'll build yeah. ourselves up to the spookiness. Yeah, that's a good choice. Terrific first choice. eerie, then spooky. Yeah. Uh, maybe uh, rent an the airspeeder. The ruins themselves. Uh, talk to the the guide. He. Knows about it. Is able to point you guys in the uh, direction. Um, actually, closer to the Crystal Caverns and Canyons than you thought it would be. Um, very strategically, probably not smart place, but pretty much wide open field, uh, just enclave uh, or ruins of what used to be a uh, Jedi enclave, Jedi field house. Uh, we get a nice screen wipe through the beautiful, lush Shandrillan fields, which are in pretty much full bloom. Um, you know, wheat-type stuff, huge fields of uh, wheat and other crops growing, and just wild, uh, lush grasslands leading up into the canyons, and small, definitely older uh, mountain ranges that have been... Mm -hmm. Um, smoothed over by eons of time past. And eventually, uh, you guys, rounding over one of the hilltops, see the ruins. Um, what so looks how old like are these ruins again? These ruins, um, they were probably built a couple hundred years ago, but uh, were completely sundered um, probably 30-ish years ago, 35, 30 okay. years ago. And here it has, a, you know, a perimeter wall that um, actually would house most of the building, but a huge swath has been blown through it. Uh, and um, what is a supported tower-like structure in the top of the circle building 
uh, that once appears to have been there has fallen down and shattered in the middle. And like the stairways and lifts that led up to it, only two of the arms are still standing, even though it looks like they have been twisted and cut jaggedly from the um, trauma of the building. So what kind of vibe we got going on here? Is this more like a somber mood we got going on here? Or is this um, more like a... Definitely, like, how would we be feeling, like, looking at this, is like, oh, this is pretty, or, like... I'm uh, here, here, that's that's tough, Timjin. Um, or would we be more like, wow. It has what? been... There's nothing really marking it as, like, something of the Jedi. Okay. Um, it just, and it's overgrown, you know, vines, roots, grass, things like that uh, have definitely started to permeate themselves and overgrow into the corridors and up the walls. Okay. Um, this, I would say, is a decent marker reminder of um, what happens um, if you fight against, you know, the powers that be mm. aren't careful or aren't wise about it. You guys don't know a whole lot about the Jedi. Um, mm -hmm. Even the three students, you guys aren't super in the loop. But What looks like a good spot if you wanted to leave this enclave and have a moment of meditation? What, what speaks out as some place that would be meditative friendly just in eye shot? Like a, a high peak, uh, a go ahead and hill roll a, in a field. Roll a, roll a perception check with your force die. Oh, uh, what's my difficulty? None. Okay. Three okay. successes. What else we got? Two, Two advantages, advantages, light side, dark side. side. You want to use... That's a really, light really side, decent little roll right there. Which light side, use? please. Light side. So, Roz, you hear the word Jedi, and every cool thing that you've ever heard from Pasada or heard from Daklin just, like, rush back to your mind. And the fact that this building itself used to house people like them, people better than them, and many of them lived here, the echoes of them still call out to you. So, not necessarily walking away from the Enclave, but in the rubble itself seems to be a fine destination. Do you guys mind if I take a moment, or? No, not at all. Do Please your do. thing, brother. I kind of find a nice... I I'm looking for... The thickest of the vines climbing up the room. Gotcha. So in this, it's a circular layout. Um, and through the shattered outer wall, whenever you walk through it, and it shattered it all the way through, uh, there used to be a courtyard in the middle that would have been meditative. There was a, you know, a tree would have been, uh, you know, like water features and things like that. They've all been uh, destroyed or lost to time now. Specifically destroyed by the room that would have sat above it um it has been cracked open and you kind of take a curious peek in uh there are chairs that were bolted to the floor that are still there uh in a little semicircle there's five of them they all face each other um through the dust and the grime on the floor of this room uh what you know as the um old republic starbird symbol is emblazoned into the floor so i think i'd like to sit in the chair and just any of the chairs there's one and that is I... your size you notice that the they would have been they look like they were custom made for uh, a few individuals of different statures there's one that's absolutely huge and like doesn't have any arm rests or anything like that one really small one and the other three are more medium size, and you're able to sit in one. The cushions, uh, not really much give to them, uh, more of a support. And they're old and lost their color. They have a, a deep kind of maroon color to them through the 
weathered effect of them. But you sit down, and I think uh, I think I'd like to when I try to meditate. Imagine this uh, room's like full of people. There's people in the chairs. I, I want to focus on that. That there's a you know there's dozens of us, hundreds of us, thousands of us, kind of thing. The community of Jedi. And I want to kind of see what I think about. Absolutely. Give me a, uh, well, hey, as always, give me a discipline check. Um, I think it's just an average check. Go ahead and add your force die and uh, take a boost die for the description, man. I love it. Oh, boy. What do I feel at first? So, well, it depends. What points <laughs> would you like to use? Because you need two points. It or... feels balanced. I'd like to use the light and the dark side. Okay. Do you want to use both dark side or do you want to use just the one? I'd like to use just one. Okay. Gotcha. What a great decision. My boy showing restraint. And it's, I would say the dark side is less of a choice and more of a, as soon as you open up. A creeping. As soon That's as awesome. you open yourself up to it, um, you see the horrifics of what happened here. Not only in this room, but in the compound um, itself. You see a legion of soldiers clad in the same uh, white armor uh, blasting in combat against just a few standing members who you assume to be Jedi. And they all fall one by one uh, as smoke and fire begins to fill uh, your peripherals in the vision and you feel the pain and loss of life and betrayal that the Jedi felt from this force. Um, but as that sort of settles and falls away and you see um, the explosions and how this place, that's the resting place of this structure came to be, it sort of washes away. And you get the bright scene of what appears to be this Enclave's council room filled uh the five uh, standing members of this localized council all sit in their chair uh they're smiling conversing with each other things are good and well uh as they are appear to be passing uh padawan into knighthood uh there's a small group of them three or four of them uh that are having their braids cut off by their own masters ceremoniously um, and this is, so right here, right now in front of you, you see a, a dozen, dozen and a half, um, full-fledged, full-robed Jedi. Uh, and it feels good. It feels relaxing. It feels right. It feels powerful. It feels warm. And not only that, but you kind of get the the old GTA zoom out um, of them being in their community, uh, but not only on Chandrilla, but on the missions that they go out to, and they're doing things um, that you only assume Daklin and your uncle did. They're helping people in need. Uh, they're <clears throat> stopping bad people from doing bad things. You don't <laughs> see a lot of, like, sabers out. You see a lot of the, the, the personal effects of these people being out and being peacekeepers and deal makers and arbiters of deals and things like that. That's cool. Kinda What would um sorry to interrupt, but yeah, what would ahead. the rest of the members in the party in the room feel or sense, if anything? Uh, well, if you guys open up and feel, um, here it's a lot of echoes. On the surface level, just yeah. what you're feeling is the, the echoes of life that were here. They're not really tinged with uh, the dark side or, you know, from 
the apparent events of what you guys had of character knows were 66 and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, seeing but, Raz kind of opening himself to it, Jum would also begin to do the same. Yeah, and Jum... If it uh, goes on for a little while. Yeah, and Jum, you definitely feel the conversations here. You hear what the the thoughts, the worries of people that would have been in meditation in yeah. this room. You hear the worries of... Um, you you hear the the what you only assume to be the voices of the masters talking about um, a long forgotten group that apparently was ran, running rampant in the galaxy a hundred a couple hundred years ago. Worried about well if they did that at Valu, what if they do it here? What if they what mm -hmm. if this Nile appears here and wreaks havoc on Shandula closer to the core? Um, but not only that, you hear them. You know, just the, the rumor mill of the goings-on and the Grand Jedi Council on Coruscant and visits from the Grand Master and things like that. So me being an like very untrained in comparison to everybody else, would I be like feeling any of this stuff or noticing oh, any of this stuff? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, it's, it, it's more, I would say, Tim Jim, it feels more to you like your vigilance is kicking in like interesting you're feeling it but you are feeling more of like what you've been able to attribute as like your survival instincts mm -hmm. kind of pinging you off a little bit <clears throat> so okay. you can feel the energy but i don't know if you are well enough to decipher into it however probably not if you want to take a gamble on what that might be like make a discipline check Go for it. Sure. Yeah, let me do that. Go ahead and make it. Make your discipline check. It'll be the same one as Roz. Uh, so just two purples and your four die. No boost die for you. And Knox, I'll get to you in a second. Mm -hmm. Dang. Two purples and a four die. Yep. And whatever your discipline check is. A failure and advantage <laughs> and a dark side. <laughs> you know what that means. Well, Tim, you no, know, you know, I'm a fan of making deals. Okay. This can be a successful check. It only costs one point. Okay. <clears throat> That's the deal. You you oh, you the spend deal. the dark side point. You get two successes for the price of one. We're all doing it, man. man but but am I that curious? Oh, I don't know if you could really oh, decipher no, y'all scurry. Sometimes, uh, yeah, you know, fuck it, this one time. <laughs> this one time, he says, okay, this one okay, time. okay, Tim Jim. This, 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 this one time. Okay. All right. So, Tim Jim, you are kind of washed into it a little bit. You are feeling it. It's like the group meditation. You're, you're kind of, you're kind of caught up in it. Uh, it wasn't really on purpose, but here you are. Um. And with this, you see the, I don't want to say dark side, you see the flip side of the coin. Mm -hmm. You you didn't see or hear what Joom or Raz uh, heard or saw or felt. Mm -hmm. But here you see inaction. You see younglings, you see Padawans that are obviously struggling with issues that um, aren't with aren't within their code they're having issues with love they're having issues with the feelings that conflict with the Jedi code and they're not mm -hmm. receiving any help they're just being told uh -huh. the platitudes over and ex they're being expected to figure it out themselves by their masters. You're seeing farmers and other townspeople come and ask for help and not receive it. Their issues deigned too small by whatever being in charge and turned away. Even specifically ones you see that uh, a small boy missing from the farm and authorities elsewhere unable to help and even the Jedi turn it away. Even the Jedi turned that little boy away? 
And even furthermore, whenever farms are being attacked, you see them help ask for help from against raiders. You hear the word uh, Mandalorian thrown around of raiding parties and things like that. They stain it not their problem or don't feel called to help or whatever their reasons are. Don't. And you feel the resentment of these common folk against who the people who are there and supposed to help them. Yeah, I thought these guys were supposed to be heroes. Yeah, I'd just be thinking that to myself, like, what the heck is this? Nox, what are you doing? Since we've made a way around the group, now I feel like I have to ask. <laughs> I, I feel like Nox is focused on the throne. Like, he sees the group of chairs that are in, like, the council thing, and he knows that somewhere, maybe nearby, there is the opposite of it, of a singular throne and somebody sitting on there. So he probably just maybe appreciates the the quietness of this place now, like, uh, in contrast to, like, all the cities that he's been from. But is, like, doesn't feel, uh, super motivated to, like, to, what you call it, uh, relish in the past, mm -hmm. and is, like, is focused more on, uh, getting rid of the evil that's still here. Funny that you say that. Not interested in relishing it's about his business. in the past. It's about his business. With the amount of residual uh, energy feelings that are left over here, uh, whenever you kind of are walking around and in your own thoughts away from the group, uh, you miss... An individual's presence approach you. Mm. Mm. And his voice startles you, scares you a little bit. Ah. Apprentice, how fortunate that I find you here. What? Again. What? To the guys quick, like, turn, turn around. <laughs> what? Like, quick 360. Oh, right. And almost like right behind your left shoulder. Like, you know, uncomfortably close, but not touching. No way. Uh, is, in fact, a very sickly yellow and black pot marked Zabrak, who you know as. No fucking way. Czar. I hate this guy. Cloak up small little the first uh, next large to sort of like staff cane um gnarled wood what hold on hello what are, you, what are you doing here are you really here oh yes i assure you Ma'am. why are you here you just kind of looks around. Oh, that's the nature of these things when you truly know the will or you find yourself in places where you're needed, my apprentice. And I feel if I'm needed here, at the nexus of all things. That need hasn't come from me. So whoever you are needed by, maybe you should go find them. Is that not a scarier thought? That someone else could be in need of what I offer? Well, regardless, there are I... others, Knox. Your time in the cave and the Nexus showed you things. I know what they showed you. 
showed your friends, showed your other, my other apprentices. The cycle continues. It is easy to know where to go when you know where others were needed to be. So do you know why I'm here? Perhaps. The specifics? Maybe not. The grand scheme? Yes. You are here to wage war in your heart and in the heart of your friends in the heart who awaits Certainly you understand that. It matters not if this galaxy burns, war rages across the entire galaxy. Just what happened inside you, your opponent. I, like, I look around, and I'm, like, pretty decently, like, separated from the rest of these guys, right? Yeah, I would say, like, so the perimeter of the um, council room that's fallen, you're probably closer to the outer uh, wall of the um, actual con uh, enclave. <laughs> so I would say easily in calling range, if you wanted to yell out. <laughs> Maybe you'd easily be heard, yeah. I think about it. But then decide not to. And, well, war has been waging for as long as I've known. And I get the feeling that it's not going to stop. But it does seem that we are on separate sides, though you call me your apprentice. Don't be so short-sighted. You must understand me. Unless you possess something entirely otherworldly. Just as you said, war has always been happening. It always will happen. The pieces are the changes. The will of the Force is war, is destruction. So why not be the one who wages it? Be the one enacting what the Force wants. Be the one that others have to be sent to stop, to destroy, to bring balance to. You talk about balance, but it seems in this galaxy there's way more of the bad than the good right now. So why would I join the people that are already in power? I speak not of joining the Order. Do you speak of Bane? An old name. Perhaps he may offer you much. But no, I speak not of that either. Well, whatever it is that you've come here to do, I can assure you, I don't need your help. It would be unwise to turn me away, Knox. You have a banner to raise. You and accepted your birthright. You accepted both. You picked up the saber you now hold and accepted the name one offered you.
That doesn't mean I'm going to have this name forever, though. So you would be so unkind as to shirk it away whenever you're through with it? Depends on how it goes. And what's stopping you from turning away from the other birthright? What's stopping you from turning away your saber? If you so wish to be done with the balance and the war, cast off this birthright. There are know. others. They have succeeded. Be a bystander. Be untouchable by the force. Perhaps you'll be happy. Somehow I doubt that. Somehow I do too. I'll be watching you, Apprentice. Your potential is yet untouched. I can't think of anything to respond to it so i just I kind of like turn around and walk back so as you are walking away you hear the staff in his hand uh, you assume scrape against the ground the wall something and you hear a hum begin from like nothing mm. and as it reaches the higher pitch mm -hmm. it persists just for a second you hear or you see a flash of light just from your peripherals look back for a moment and what it looks like a a, a, a rectangle on the wall uh, of light fades away back to its normal state and the czar is gone do you like the quick like testing the wall like where it was I assume it's like no, like fully just disappears mm -hmm. and is as it he's was. one of those. Ratayor. Huh. Uh, uh, guys, guys. I go um, back. Shake back to reality. <laughs> yeah, are we all shake just back? like <laughs> tripping? Uh, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, strong knocks. So, what the hell was that? I, I just ran into Czar somehow. Who? Wait, like in person? Yeah, he, he just appeared. And I think I think he was using one of those ga the gates. I, I, as he left, uh, there was a an imprint of a rectangle on this a stone wall. Where? But it disappeared. Uh, like pointing him directly to over. the wall. Yeah, it, it was. Well, it was somewhere right here. I mean, can't really tell anymore. There are no markings or anything of the sort. That Not even have... within an investigation check? Nope. Okay. I think he can use the gates that we've learned a little bit about. So Wait, you think I... this might be a gate? Maybe more like this place is a gate. He he talked about appearing where he was needed. And we we found him at the the other nexus, right? Yeah. Or he found us. I'm starting to think that he wasn't even there until we were there <laughs> that first time. Oh. oh, you guys remember that that uh, cave was a, a man-made sliver or something? Right? Hmm. On now, how? It was. All I remember 
is small cave. No, it, it was in a tree. Inside. Wasn't it in like the root, the base root of a tree? <laughs> no, no, different one. The first one we ever went to? Yeah, so the first one you ever went to uh, was, was just man-made, like just planted. Well, you know, it was like a a spire of material that was uh, like a crash. Did not remember that. Yeah, yeah. The tree one was. Um, uh, oh, I wonder if it was a sliver of the fucking. Uh, no way, huh? Of the Starlight Beacon. Mm -hmm. Perhaps. Or something else of the sort. Huh. I. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Did he, did he say anything good? He was all cryptic last time. <laughs> it was about the same. Not much good. Roz the, ah. Roz the optimist. <laughs> <laughs> he looked about the it was same. about the same. <laughs> yes, it was. I mean, if he's showing up here, then I guess it's right that we came. Maybe. I, I saw a lot. I think, I think I got what I needed here. The Jedi were a big community, and there was a lot of them, you know? It wasn't just like us running around here with just five of us, six of us. A couple friends here and there, There's, it's like a, their own little city. They were all over, all over the galaxy. It was, it was nice to see. They were helping a lot of people. Tim Jun? I'm sorry, I zoned out for a second. What? <laughs> I'm talking about how nice the Jedi are. Mm -hmm. And how helpful they are. Yeah, I also Re say that I saw very pleasant, pleasant scenes, aside from what happened in the beginning. Y'all like when... seeing the same stuff I, that I saw? So we all saw stuff? I certainly saw something. Did you meditate, Timjin? Well, I wasn't actively, but I guess I did. I saw a bunch of people walking around in here and saw some uh some robed guys being very uh not so kindly to the uh to the folk around here. What were, what were they doing? Was it like Was it bad? There was like a little boy crying. Feeling lost, not knowing what to do, and then having his master come by and just tell him to figure it out on his own, not getting no help. People getting attacked, people's villages getting attacked by raiders and such, asking for help from these rogue guys, and them not giving a damn and just letting them get all uh, torn up in some mess from some Mandalorians or something like that. What kind of stuff y'all saw? Because these guys... I... I saw... I saw what they were before. The community. And the, the good things. Because the guys I saw the weren't... They did help. Yeah, because the guys I saw weren't no... Like helpful, uh, heroic wizards like y uh, like I keep hearing. You know, maybe they got rid of the Jedi for a reason. This whole will of the force thing. I mean, the guys that taught us, they, they weren't Jedi. I mean, well, look at us, we're kind of doing the same thing, but. I mean, I feel that, like I want to help. Who that. needs an Who needs an order anyway? All these types of like orders and <clears throat> big organizations having so much power, they all get corrupt. It's not. They all doing. just. They all. They all start to feed for themselves at the end of the day. So the march of progress. You you gotta make it and break it to. 
find out what's wrong with it. And, you know, sometimes when they break, they fall all the way apart. And now we Blue got spells these... look like they feel low. Yeah. We got all these broken pieces. I mean, I'm glad you saw that. That way it wasn't just all the good that happened here. I mean, I saw how it was. This happened. But I think it gave us some insight. And then when this started out, I kept thinking of the Jedi and keep thinking of the Jedi, but they're, they're gone. They gotta be gone for a reason. And I would say that with the talks with Daklin and uh, of the Holocron, um, probably not too hard to piece together the flaws uh, of the old order uh, and what was their their short I feel like some things were apparent to me mm -hmm. earlier and then Tim Jin having this experience inside of it while I'm sitting there Ooh yowie. like definitely mm -hmm. it's that settling mm -hmm. I, I think it kind of helps bring that that dark side light side point that I use it is that that balance and that's what I was looking for Absolutely. It can't yeah. can't all be good. Yeah, Rob, of course you're looking for the perfect cinematic tie-in to end the episode on, naturally. Exactly. You, you exactly. fucking knew that. Well, and because, sure, I, because I don't want to let Roz set the tempo here, uh, as oh, you guys okay. are... <laughs> Got him. Uh, as you guys are readying to leave... In the rubble, just outside in between the rubble of the wall and y'all's borrowed air spear, uh, there is another speeder truck. It seems rather beat up, like a, a thick box truck, right? Uh, that is parked, still on, and there are three figures standing, facing you guys, uh, from... Or, and standing in between your speeder and you guys exiting the uh, enclave. Why not? They have masks on, but not like combat ones, like cloth ones. Okay. Um, not the claimant masks. <laughs> That's yeah, what I was not, waiting for. Yes. Ooh. You're gonna no, die. No, uh, those... Uh, Reclaimants roll Next in session. style, baby. They don't, they don't, they don't <laughs> yeah, show yeah, up true. in, uh, no in beat trucks. speeder trucks. Yeah. <laughs> Hey! The middle one says. This is, uh... This is our property. You guys are trespassing. Oh, we, didn't, we didn't take anything. We just wanted to see. They told us we could come out here and see. We didn't We didn't know anybody owned it. Didn't know this ain't a public it. tourist advisor. Ad I was about to ask, ain't this <laughs> some, sort of like, advisor, some sort of like public tourist... <laughs> Area? No. Oh. Well, good thing uh, we were leaving. About that. I think you all now might need it. to come with us. Now, see, I don't like when people tell me what to do. He or doesn't. Tell my he friends he what really to do. doesn't. He's an anger problem. He does. We're working on it. Because, <laughs> like, we don't want this to happen to you. All right? Look, I, I understand your situation if we're on your property and all that. But, like, we're more than happy to just leave. We no, was on our way out already. Generally, there aren't any nobodies that come out here onto old force-related properties. So, I think uh, our leader is probably going to want to talk to you. Oh, and we're going we're gonna to go in that truck, and I point at the truck, and then I force move the fucking truck. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking throw it. <laughs> oh. Jesus. Wait. Give me a, like, roll your two-four style. Roll your two-four style. Well, you have to succeed on this for it to happen. <laughs> 
No, what it's happens? well, it's unfortunately it's yeah, not yeah, a combat yeah. check. You just have to roll enough pips to be able to, be yeah. able to do it. Okay, I have uh, let me let me god damn it, let me pull up the Where's fucking the... truck silhouette, you it? fucking bitch. <laughs> 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 you gave me mind power. You Let me see that your table. No, I was okay, about to, okay, I was, okay, I was about to say. I was about to say. Dom was like, "Oh, I can't set the scene." Okay. <laughs> my <laughs> grass's nose bitch. starts bleeding. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I need, Papa. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, oh, oh go ahead and roll your fucking forest die, Dom. Hey, right, buddy. <laughs> ha! You would never use two dark well, side points for this. <laughs> <laughs> so the truck is silhouette three um you don't need the pips to you can, just can if even... you have the upgrades it only costs a pip to activate the power and then a pip to use the upgrade so if you have the know. silhouette upgrade on move to where you can move silhouette three you need both pips and you can i don't flip even it over. have silhouette three uh, or size uh. three or whatever i think you do I'm almost, with as a matter of fact, strength? huh? With two in strength? Yeah, because it goes from one to two to three. Okay. No, okay, it goes so from zero to, to one to two. Let me, hold on. Let me open up the move tree. Yeah. See, this is y'all's job. You're supposed to know this. Um... I was in the process, and then I couldn't find the skill tree. <laughs> That's why I got simple powers. My shit just said spin force. Uh, yes, three. I, I feel him like... around me with sin. You have a red <laughs> I just talk yeah. to people, dude. <laughs> it, is, it is that easy. Okay, so it goes, yeah, it goes zero, one, two, three, four. So the the third strength upgrade is 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 three. What so, these guys got on them? Um, them things. Oh, you know stuff. S silly little, silly little things. Brown brown robes. Uh, no, most <laughs> certainly not. Yeah, no. They are very mismatched, other than the masks. Man, I um, think these guys, I think they're good guys. One has a uh, rather nasty looking uh, Vibramax, uh, like uh, that, uh, I forget what they're actually called. It's like a Renekton's, I forget the Corlax or whatever they're called. Oh, the Fan Axe? Yeah, the big fan, two-handed fucking crescent blade mm. axe. Yeah. I think they're called Fan Blades. So that truck over there? Yes. Roz says, as he really focuses really, really hard, <laughs> but he doesn't quite get it. <laughs> well, if you want to use it to try, I'll most certainly make the truck I... shake. <laughs> I just pointed the truck, and I go, that truck over there? Yeah. And I walk towards it. <laughs> All right. Walk towards the, you... the, the very Follow front him. of the truck. No, 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 no. They, uh, uh, wait. The door is open in the back, the big roller door. Go I ahead. still try to go around the front of the truck. Uh, 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 uh. Can I, Look like, uh, force shoot this guy in the head? You can, <laughs> you can certainly, you can certainly try. I would never be one to stop you from doing that. No, I'm not. Hold gonna, on. I was gonna Before you do. I, I, no, I'm not going to do all that. I'm not, I'm not a cold-blooded killer like that. Let me say, um, Here you are. <laughs> and what do you mean? Mean? I'm a good boy. What do you mean? And I would say, whenever they fucking ask, we don't usually have a bunch of nobodies coming around, force, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. I would say, oh, um, you know, it's pretty uncommon to have a group guarding remnants of a, you know, a force nexus. What interest do you have in this? You don't seem to be with the order. Outside of my pay grade. Hmm. What? Who's the boss? The boss use... gets what the boss wants. Can I try and make a negotiation check and see if he uh, tells me anything? What do you want? What do you want to? What do you want to know? I mean, he surely he knows something. Is your boss a Nautilus? I want to chance? try and get him to slip a slip a little word up. And what if he is? Okay, that's all I need to know. Then I'd want to speak with him, but. On our speeder. Come on, man. There's no way that thing's still. They got runs. a lot of space in the truck. Shut up, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Not how this is works. It... Not how this works, buddy. Is it a full? Cap? We can't let you know where our hideout is. Oh. Come on now. 
Henchman 101, guys. Come on. Fucking <laughs> damn it. Oh, what? In the crystal caverns with the throne and the sarcophagus? What do you. How do you know that? What do you think we Wait, are, they... man? Like, <laughs> you think you came here looking for us? We were looking for you the entire time. And thank you. I'm trying to get in the truck. They have anger issues. They want their speeder. That's how we all One of the flank guys, like. Hey, I think this is I think this is what the boss was talking about. I, uh, okay. he, he like elbow, shut up. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to kill these guys. That's awesome. I hate that for that. Alright, so I do good, how good. close am I to these guys? Uh I well I would say from wall to like where they were standing at the truck is like medium range. Jake. Roz is already like scrambled over there. <laughs> so I gotta be honest. What's up? The wife beater you have on right now is really yeah. selling this this character. <laughs> good. <laughs> It's supposed to be good. About the it's, it's, <laughs> so it's giving. It's giving this henchman right now. I whip out the blammy pointed at the closest henchman. We ain't going nowhere, son. Hey, y'all best get on get now. Well, hey, Timchin. They are trying to bring us to where we're trying to go. Yeah, I mean, how, we yeah, can't but I want to go on our own terms. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying, trying to drive there. I want to bring a ride over truck. <laughs> <laughs> They gonna take my gun. I can't have that happen. <laughs> they're not gonna take your gun. No, the boss wants you. Try to the boss weapon. wants you to keep your weapon. All right, that's a little better. That's exactly what I, I only go if y'all want to go. Weapons. I only go if y'all want to go. Cause really, I think this guy needs a bullet in his head. But that's just me. I'll go. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's go. Hey, what what about our speeder though? Just gonna leave it out here. Can I'm we have one of your men bring it along? Afford to leave a speeder. Just have one of their men bring it. Yeah. Let me drive it. Uh, no, don't worry about it. Ront's gonna take it back. Ront, um, Ron's been any accidents recently? <laughs> <laughs> okay. No way. No way. He's cheesing. <laughs> oh, put, put away my weapon. Fuck you, Ront. <laughs> And well, if you guys load up in the truck. Hell yeah, we do. Great. Begrudgingly. That is as the roller door closes shut and you guys hear the uh, diesel uh, <laughs> fucking uh, repulsor lift engine turn on. You guys start moving. That is where we will call it for tonight. Excellent. Uh, on an apparent date with destiny. Perfect. That was money, dude. Yeah. Oh, that was cool. money. At least we own a ship now, guys. Yeah, okay, so we own the Justin oh, Call. Yes. And oh, our hyperdrive is fixed. Yes. And then there's yeah. no way I mean, these sorry, guys no. are actually going to kill us. We've killed that fucking giant guy with the crazy door shield, so we're fine. Rom Rock, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was actually just looking at his stat page a second ago. I was like, I'm not really let y'all kill him. That's crazy. So who was that guy you were talking to, Garrett, in your oh. vision? Yeah, our first uh, that is run an in unrecorded with... session. Yeah, uh, it was on Nalhutta. We went to this like cave where okay. this guy, this Zabrak guy, just kind of, he just kind of appeared, right? Like, yeah, he was just hanging out in the swamp. We assumed he was a Yoda type because you know uh -huh. he'd be living in the swamp, like, but he was not apparently. Dark side tint to, uh, yeah. but he kind of that same like teacher aspect. Uh, Before yeah. Daklin, by the way. This yeah, kind of reminds yeah. me. Daklin, yeah. This He's reminds me a little bit of when when Maul meets uh, what's the guy's name? Ezra. Ezra. Yes. Yeah, Ezra. This That's, is yes. It's supposed no, wait, to. This, no. This yes. Yeah. Yeah. This, yes. this is literally Orochimaru meets Sasuke in the tuning exam. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and gives him the curse mark. Yes. Is what's really happening right yes. now. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunate. Yeah. Nope. I think Knox is getting real tired of people calling him apprentice. Well, yeah, Knox is about take to the be range, buddy. Take the range, buddy. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. Take, take the range, buddy. I uh, can't wait. Can't wait for him to about to strike him down. Uh, He's like, "Strike me down. Complete your destiny." Oh, no. like, <laughs> these, these ain't that ain't the these ain't them masters. They don't they don't play like that. Oh, they don't. Okay. No. There's nothing to strike down, man. Because they're they they're up. they're less of the ah complete your destiny and kill me. I'm this is my destiny. They're more like I'm. You're helping me. <laughs> you're. Oh, okay. I I need you to do. So the rule of two is over. Oh yeah. Oh oh for okay. sure. Okay. Oh oh that is so lit. That is. So lit. 
Well, this so is all fuck yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. No, there's a bunch of fucking Sith running around. Right? Yes. There's so much more mobility for Will. Sith are so much scarier that way. You know what I mean? Like they were strong. They were stronger. They were stronger as the, doing the rule of two, but they're definitely scarier. Not under the rule of yeah. two. You got right, a lot yeah. more. Ro you got a lot more rogue guys like fighting each other for like. Like supremacy, it's it's lit. It's pretty fucking metal. Honestly. Yeah, whenever I say, whenever the opening to this campaign was the galaxy's burning. Oh, it's it's every it's everything. Every facet is fucking on fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's flaming. I want to see what we can put out. That's that's the whole idea. Or do we that's exist? Cool. Do we do we exist in the middle of a forest fire? Is it possible? Let's find out next week. For a on, short time. On, on Starito. <laughs> do it now. Yes, yeah, Starito. <laughs> That shit's, like, dude, that shit's fucking gas. We need a fucking oh, outro, what? That yeah, shit's right. gas. Oh. Wait, we need, a, we need a Japanese outro ASAP. I agree. <laughs> I fucking agree. I don't, I don't disagree Man, y all this, at all. Y all Ooh, oh, fuck. I forgot, the, outros. I forgot to say something yes. about fucking... You guys are just like my family, because I got no support. Thank you guys. Have a good game. I fucking forgot to say <laughs> something to Zar. What was that? What did I want to say? Hmm. Fuck. He just TP'd or That's okay. tier I'll, one and walked it down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, he actually Zara just actually TP'd got a triple kill bot lane uh, on the counter <laughs> on the counter gang. Um, yeah, they're playing Doom bots and they spawn in the Mega Zigs. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, He's that guy. <laughs> dude, I forgot about uh, Doom bots. Hey, by the way, guys, so do they even do that anymore? This was another two and a half hour time. banger.